The Society of Explorers and Adventurers, also known as SEA, are a society of explorers that feature in several attractions in Disney parks across the world. While some of the characters were created beforehand, the overall story of SEA began to appear in Disney park attractions from 2013 with the creation of Mystic Manor in Hong Kong Disneyland. But what is the story of SEA? This is the history of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. The Society of Explorers and Adventurers was founded in 1538 by several explorers of the Renaissance era, including Leonardo da Vinci. However, not much is known about SEA until the 1800s, apart from the fortress explorations at Tokyo Disney Sea being one of its headquarters. The next earliest event known about SEA is that explorer Camellia Falco explored the Zambezi River in 1831, but this was before she officially became a member of SEA. In 1847, businessman Harrison Hightower III inherits his father's business and rebrands it to be Hightower Industries, leading him to be inducted into SEA the same year. Then, in 1850, Camellia Falco inherits her family's Museum of Fantastic Flight, whilst SEA member Barnabas T. Bullion founds the Big Thunder Mining Company using financial aid from Harrison Hightower III. The following year, in 1851, Camellia Falco is inducted as the first female member of SEA by then-president Vitali Robustelli, which was witnessed by fellow SEA members Lord Henry Mystic and Jason Chandler, SEA secretary. In between 1851 and 1870, Jason Chandler takes over from Mitali as the president of the SEA. Skipping forward from 1851 to 1870, Barnabas T. Bullion explores the Colorado River in 1870, followed by Harrison Hightower of the Third exploring the Yangtze River in 1872, and Lord Henry Mystic exploring the Ganges River in 1874. After the passing of Camellia Falco in 1875, the Museum of Fantastic Flight is left in the care of SEA. At some point in the late 1870s, Lord Henry Mystic explores New Guinea and rescues a monkey from a spiderweb, adopting the monkey and naming him Albert. Meanwhile, in America in 1879, Barnabas T. Bullion moves the Big Thunder Mining Company headquarters from Rainbow Ridge to Tumbleweed. He awakens the spirit of Big Thunder who causes accidents and natural disasters throughout the Big Thunder Mountain region. Whilst Jason Chandler had provided Barnabas with the drills for the mining, in 1880, Jason sent a letter to Barnabas, advising him to cease mining at Big Thunder, as he was angering the spirits. At some point between 1880 and 1899, Barnabas dies of unknown causes. The 1880s saw many members of SEA going on various expeditions around the world, in 1881, Harrison Hightower III and his underling Smelding explored Easter Island, stealing one of the stone statues. Then, in 1882, Jason Chandler explored the Alaho River, whilst Lord Henry Mystic and Albert explored Morocco and got attached to the Fez. In 1883, Hightower III and Smelding explored the Lost River Delta, particularly a temple that was home to two raging spirits. In 1887, Hightower and Smelding explored Egypt and stole mummy for their collection. Then, in 1888, SEA member Dr. Albert Falls explores the Shirley Temple in Cambodia and is potentially accompanied by fellow SEA member and photographer Luana Texera. Finally, in 1889, Lord Henry Mystic and Albert visit India and Mystic attempts to play the Tampura, much to Albert's disgust. The 1890s began with more exploring and ended with a curse. On August 12, 1891, Dr. Albert Falls discovered Schreiser Falls and the backside of water. Then, in 1892, Harrison Hightower III opened the Hightower Hotel in the American waterfront, which would become the home of Hightower's collection. In 1896, Lord Henry Mystic built Mystic Manor in New Guinea to house his collection. Fellow SEA members Charlton J. Tabaret provided portraits of Lord Henry Mystic for Mystic Manor, whilst 
Maestro Delfman assisted with the creation of a music room in Mystic Manor. Then, in 1898, the second known female member of SEA was inducted into the society. Mary Oceaneer had the maiden voyage of her ship, the RV Oceaneer Lab, hosting the first pirate nights on her ship and prompting her induction into SEA. 1899 proved to be a significant year for SEA thanks to Harrison Hightower III. In 1899, Mary Oceaneer explored the Orinoco River, whilst Harrison Hightower III and Smelding explore the continent of Africa. Whilst there, Hightower meets the Mutundu tribe and realise that they fear the Shariki Utundu idol, which Hightower ends up stealing to scare the other tribes into gifting him items for his collection. On 31st of December 1899, Several members of SEA have a meeting at Hightower Hotel, including Harrison Hightower III, Lord Henry Mystic, Mary O'Shaneer, Professor R. Blumhimmel, Dr. J. L. Batterista, Charlton J. Tabaret, and unnamed members. The same day, Harrison Hightower hosted a New Year's Eve party and press conference to boast about finding the Shiriki Utundu, mocking the supposed curse on the idol by extinguishing his cigar on the idol's head. At midnight, now in 1900, Hightower entered an elevator shaft with the Shariki Utundu, planned to take the idol up to his penthouse. However, during the journey, Hightower is cursed by the idol and disappears. The 1900s proved to be a new era for SEA. Whilst Hightower disappeared on January 1st, 1900, new SEA member Meriwether Adam Pleasure explored the Kissimmee River and was inducted into the society. Lord Henry Mystic also presented a Mystic Electromagnetic Carriage at the 1900 Paris Exposition. In 1901, Mary Oceaneer and her parrot Salty go on several adventures, including archaeology on Castaway Quay and deep sea diving, where Oceaneer discovers a pirate sword that would become her favourite blade. Back at the Museum of Fantastic Flight, an exhibition on Camellia Falco opens, where the ghost of Falco invites guests to fly aboard her dream flyer invention. In 1903, Dr. Albert Falls explored the Mabai River, and in 1906, Dr. J.L. Batterista explored the Conga River. In 1908, Lord Henry Mystic opens Mystic Manor to the public as a museum and the Explorers Club restaurant. The following year, in 1909, Lord Henry Mystic and Albert discover an enchanted music box, which Albert accidentally opens, bringing Mystic's collection to life until Albert manages to close it again. In 1910, currently unseen member Sango Shio explored the Amazon River. Then, in 1911, Dr. Albert Falls founds the Jungle Navigation Company, whilst Meriwether Pleasure buys the land that would become known as Pleasure Island. In 1913, Whilst SEA member Chef Tandaji explored the Irrawaddy River, Beatrice Rose Endicott begins tours of the Hightower Hotel after being manipulated by Archibald Smelding, who believes they will allow Hightower to return to the living. Despite warnings from news reporter Menfred Strang and a mysterious phone call from Hightower III himself, Endicott continued with the hotel tours, believing that the curse was fake. In 1915, Mary Oceaneer would become a president of SEA, ensuring the society was made on good morals. This would lead to Meriwether leaving SEA and creating the Adventurers Club in 1921. The same year, on August the 19th, Dr. Albert Falls receives the High Tower Spirit of Adventure Award for his river discoveries, which he now does with his granddaughter, Alberta, who had been living with him since 1919. However, in 1927, Dr. Albert Falls mysteriously disappears, prompting Mary Oceaneer to lead an exploration to find him. In 1929, Professor Garrett Reed had his membership from SEA revoked by Lord Henry Mystic, after Reed was caught grave robbing. A few years later, in 1932, Reed stole the Emerald Trinity from the jungle and ended up dying as the jungle took revenge on Reed causing the jungle to attack travellers until the Emerald Trinity was returned. In 1931, 
Dr. Albert Falls' granddaughter, Alberta Falls, opened the Jungle Cruise Tours after taking over her grandfather's business, before opening the Jungle Skipper Canteen on October 1, 1938. This contained a secret SEA meeting room that guests could dine in. Several VIPs visited the Jungle Skipper Canteen and were invited on a special Jungle Cruise with new skipper Felix Petchman the 13th, including SEA member and entomologist Kon Shinosuke. Unfortunately, Skipper Felix crashes the boat in the hippo pool and the tour group end up chased up a totem pole by a rhino. Moving into the 1940s, the SEA's adventures were reaching an end. In 1941, former SEA member Meriwether Pleasure went missing whilst exploring the Antarctic. Then, in 1948, pilot Jock Lindsay opens an airplane hangar in Disney Springs, which is visited by members of the Adventurers Club and SEA. In 1955, Lindsay would convert the airplane hangar into a bar. The same year, Mary Oceaneer was still exploring, now with a parrot called Duncan. Whilst exploring Placid Palms, Oceaneer's ship, the MS Salty IV, is hit by a hurricane, leaving her and Duncan shipwrecked in the lagoon, now known as Typhoon Lagoon. Mary would end up claiming the shipwreck as the start of her retirement, surrounded by her treasures. So, that is the whole history of SEA that we know so far with the opening of Adventureland Treehouse in 2023 and a potential TV series, the SEA law is only going to expand more. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you want to see next on the History Channel.